Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to basically obtain all your data within TikTok. So this means also getting your video, all of the videos you've made, the comments I believe that are on your videos and all those different things. Now it's not immediate. It will take a couple of days according to TikTok. But what's really cool is this data is coming straight from TikTok. So it's not like you have to go get it from anyone else or a third party, whatever, like some other methods out there. So all you want to do is basically log into the specific TikTok account that you want to obtain your data from. So here's mine. You can follow me if you want to. I haven't posted in a while though, but I'll probably start soon. And the process is this, okay? You want to go ahead and click on the tab right here where it says me. And then at that point, all you want to do is tap on these three buttons right here and you'll get into this little page right here. Now, if you followed my Instagram tutorial on how to get all your data from that way, it's pretty similar in a way. So all you want to do here is click privacy and safety, which is right there. You'll see a bunch of different things right here, but you'll see right under personalization and data that there's a personalization and data little tab right here. So what you can do is you can go and tap that. You'll see two different options, but at the bottom, you'll see download your data. So all you want to do is go ahead and tap that and you'll come into this little page. Now, it's very important for you guys to read this because it is your data. You do have the right to go ahead and look at it. But it's very important that you understand. So the request data basically means this is the data that you'll basically be able to get from TikTok. So your profile, which includes your username, profile photo, profile description, and all this other stuff. Right underneath that is another option called your activity. So this includes your videos, which is probably what a lot of you guys want, your comment history and your history, purchase history, likes and favorites, which likes and favorites that's a pretty big thing i mean that's a lot of information and also your app settings now this one i don't really think a lot of people care about that the middle one is probably the most important one for a ton of people so what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and click this little red button that says request data file so you want to go ahead and click that and as you can see it says data for simple alpaca and it says tap download to whatever now it does tell you the day that was requested but it'll also tell you that it'll take a couple days for it to fully go through now as you can see i just did it so it might take a little while and it says right here, it takes usually one to two days. And then from there, it'll be available for four days after that. So that's really pretty much how to do it. Once this is fully done, you can go and click download. And then you're pretty much good from there. You'll have all that data requested, which is so cool. So that's really pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or if you run into any other problems, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.